You like the fact that the President of the United States is talking tough, and it looks as if there will be a strike on Syria. I absolutely support President Trump in his promise for military action. In response to this heinous war crime, women and children were gassed to death while they were being starved by the Assad regime. This is unspeakable, and we have to do something. President Obama completely blew it in 2013 when an Assad killed over 1,000 people, 400 of them children, and Obama just did nothing, signing a deal with Russia just to allow the Iran deal to go through. That's the real collusion, is Obama working with Russia, working with Iran to allow Syrians to be gassed to death. We need to stand up to Syrians who are, being who are facing not only chemical weapons, but barrel bombs, being tortured to death and their bodies being sure. burned in crematoriums. This is the Holocaust Remembrance Day, and it's absolutely imperative that we, when we say never again, we really mean it. And President Trump, we urge you to please follow through on your commitment to hold Assad and Russia accountable for these heinous war crimes. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, he's making it clear with uh, this morning's treat, uh, Keenan, a tweet that that is his intention. But uh, we were also talking about how there are all these internet conspiracies and the Russians are saying we didn't do it and there's probably an activist group that staged it. What do you think about that stuff? I mean, this is all just classic Russian propaganda. We should not listen to any of this. Look, we have the photos, we have the videos of the gas cylinders that were dropped on top of civilians. I know that the president is reviewing all of this evidence, but the evidence is very clear. What the president needs to do is to make sure that Russia doesn't get away with this, that Assad doesn't get away with this. There needs to be a response. There needs to be the complete grounding of the regime's air force immediately, as quickly as possible. And the regime is trying to move all of its assets mm -hmm. out of the way so that the president can hit those. And Russia is trying to make threats against the United States of America. But we should not be thwarted by this bluster from the regime and from Russia. We need to make sure that these warplanes that are dropping chemical weapons and barrel bombs on civilians are stopped from being able to do so. And I trust President Trump can do that. All right. And I think he thinks, uh, given the nature of that tweet, that he can do it as well. Akina Ramini, we thank you very much for joining us live from our nation's capital.